A new COVID-19 rapid test program is now in place at some West Michigan schools. The Kent County Health Department rolled the pilot program out this week and it's already making a difference. 13 Inside Shanna Grove explains how it works and what may come next. Shanna. Hey, good morning, James. Yeah, that's right. The ultimate goal here is to have easy access to COVID testing for school staff throughout Kent County. However, right now these rapid tests are only in two districts and they're for symptomatic staff only at this point. Here at the Kent County Health Department, they partnered with the Kent Intermediate School District Center programs in Forest Hills Public Schools. The program involves two types of tests that are done in-house, a rapid antigen test and a PCR test. If a staffer tests positive with the 15-minute test, then they'll isolate, of course, and any negative tests are confirmed with that second test with results in 24 to 36 hours. Through our contact tracing and our school team that's working with schools, we were hearing that schools were having to close or classrooms were having to close because they just didn't have enough staff to keep the school open. Um, and so we also hear the concerns um, that teachers are wanting to make sure that they are working in a safe space and access to testing um, helps with that. In an email, the Forest Hills superintendent told me the program is going very well. It's the largest district here in West Michigan with students doing in person learning. In the email, Superintendent Dan Beam says, in part, we have tested about three dozen staff members and had a couple positive cases. This provides a much faster result and gives staff peace of mind that they can return to work without being concerned that they may be contagious with COVID. And the health department wanted to get this rolled out ahead of winter break before students and staff in some districts return to classrooms. And eventually, they hope to have centers throughout Kent County for staff and then potentially students as well of all districts. I'm sure, Shanna, that's something that both the students, educators, even the parents would like to see. So hopefully students can return back to class, but only when it's safe to do so. Thank you for that report.